You've been, you've traveled a lot. You've been to lots of different airports. There's no question, Nancy, that we already have had one of the most beautiful airports. And now with the newly expanded domestic terminal, it is even more so. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here. Yeah, you know, it's gorgeous here. Let's talk a little bit. I mean, obviously, as the um, in-house architect, tell us a bit about the inspiration of kind of the area we're in right now. Well, we have an overriding thematic master plan that we use for the entire complex. We try and celebrate the beautiful nature and culture of British Columbia and the iconic communities and environment that is so true to British Columbia. So in this area, we are celebrating the uh, Fraser River Canyon, the Okanagan, and basically the interior of British Columbia. So let's pick out three key areas. Sure. What are we seeing right here? Well. Functionally, the information counter, okay. which helps passengers find where they're going, where they're connecting, how to find baggage claim, uh, what we call FIDs, Flight Information Display Units, behind um, a thematic wall. It's a water feature. Um, it's basically a water rushing down the, the rock wall on the canyon of the Fraser River. Feels already like you're on a holiday just walking down that of or going course. down that escalator. <laughs> what are we seeing over here? Well, in keeping with the Okanagan, we wanted to replicate something that gave the feel of the trestle bridges that you see when you're biking through Kelowna and Penticton. So we used reclaim wood and create what we call folds, and they're basically wood panels that are along a riverbed. And the piece de resistance, you got to show this, Nelson. What are we seeing right here? Oh, this is our amazing art installation. Here at YVR, we use amazing First Nations art as the focal point and a major circulation space. Here we have uh, Marianne Nicholson's The Rivers Monument. It's an amazing testament to the Columbia and the Fraser Rivers and her, inter her interpretation of the history of those rivers. Fantastic. Well, this is just one little piece of the improvement, Jody and Riaz. And a lot of people I know are asking, are we done with the airport improvement fee? We're going to find out the answer to that coming up in the 7 o'clock hour as we make our way into the construction zone. Well, wow, that's stunning. Yeah, and you know, the newly expanded uh, domestic terminal, where I expect it'll probably be a lot busier now that the dollar is the where it is, people traveling within their own country. And Tracy, um, obviously we're in a, a construction zone right now. Project yes, manager, what is involved in managing a project like this? Because anyone at home that's done any kind of home renovations knows that that can be frustrating. Very much so, yeah. There's a lot of teamwork and collaboration involved between a lot of different parties, both internally to YVR, a lot of different departments, as well as our builders and our designers. It's a lot Constantly. of pressure, though, for you. A little bit of pressure. <laughs> Timeline, staying on budget, that's yeah, all important, lots right? Of, lots of uh, balls to keep in the air, that's for sure. Let's talk about exactly where we are because it's almost hard to even envision what this was, this area. Yeah, it, it is actually. This is the old part of the domestic terminal. It's what we call Pier A. It used to lead down into WestJet and WestJet Encore's gates, gates 10 to uh, 14 specifically. Um, and this is where passengers used to walk about two weeks ago. And on the right, there were some washrooms and there was the old Plaza Premium Lounge. And uh, the gate's just beyond the wall in the background. You know, we just saw some beautiful, um, well, in the domestic terminal, we've seen some beautiful structures, a lot of great cosmetic improvements, but there's a lot of functional improvements that are happening here. What are, what's going to be happening here that's important? Yeah, so right now we're doing some uh, soft demolitions. We're pulling off the old finishes in this space, which used to be a public corridor, uh, getting ready for some good uh, heavy demolition where we're going to be demolishing the slab that we're standing on top of and the structure underneath to rework to become new space, new functional space for our airlines and our, our tenants, office space and uh, back of house areas. Okay, and then I have to ask, because obviously this has to do with the airport improvement fee yeah. that people continue to pay. Um, Absolutely. The improvements are happening. Lots of them have happened. Yeah. Are we still going to be paying that fee? We are We are going to be paying that fee. Airport's an ever-evolving kind of terminal. Um, technology changes and there's new things that we need to look at. We're constantly upgrading our terminal to make sure it's functional and efficient for our, our passengers. And no question, Michelle, that we have one of the most beautiful airports that I think a lot of people have ever been at. So uh, we're going to continue our tour <laughs> of the newly expanded domestic terminal throughout the morning on BT. Thanks so much, Tracy. Good morning. You know, and it's so cool here at the newly expanded domestic terminal. I mean, I'm looking at a beautiful candy store. There's the Marshall Russo. And, you know, I, I could do all my shopping here. I can just come to the airport with my credit card, hop in a plane, and have everything. Perfect. <laughs> it, okay. It's definitely beautiful out here. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that are basically sure. enhancing uh, the traveler experience, including, I guess, the ability to do a little shopping. Oh, definitely. And we have a new retailer, the Marshall Group. So the Lick and the Marshall Russo and the Toomey, and they have a travel store as well. Uh, they're new to Canada. This is their first adventure um, up north. They're from uh, the States. Um, so it's just we try and 
create really wide open retail spaces and so you're encouraged to go in and shop so we let the tenants bring their flooring out so you walk in let's talk about well let's talk about the flooring the carpet has a name yes we actually have as part of our thematics we actually have over um, two dozen carpet patterns that we use throughout the building various colorways but the one we're walking on right now is called raindrops because we live in a rainforest. Beautiful, and staying with the theme, let's talk about this area here, which is obviously like a kind of a food court type of an area. What's new here? Well, what's new is um, we have counters where passengers, if they're traveling alone, can feel comfortable. We have tables for groups of passengers, and then we have a, sort of a common use, a little bit larger table, and we have power at all the stand-up counters. And a beautiful entertainment center, a TV up there, and of course the soft seating really does make things more comfortable for everyone, right? It's an opportunity for the passenger who isn't shopping to go sit and wait, because we usually locate them near the shopping. It's for, it's for the, the guy that doesn't want to shop. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, again, we are here at YVR all morning long. Jody, we've got lots more coming up uh, in just a few minutes, just after celebrations at about 8.15. We will find Dawn at YVR. Yeah, here at YVR, and we've been focusing on the newly expanded domestic terminal. And here now in the Plaza Premium Lounge, the brand new one, which is in the domestic terminal. And we're just we're just hanging out in the bathroom, in we the are. terminal, in the shower. In the shower. <laughs> it's like a spa in here. It, you know, we, we try to elevate the guest experience any way we can, and this is just one example. I already checked out the nap room. Oh, people, you did. people use that, especially when they're on a long trip, right? Absolutely. In fact, it was just being used a few minutes ago. And this is one of how many lounges in the airport? So we, we have a total of four lounges in the airport, three on the departure side, one on the arrival side. And we are now inside the main area where, again, we have the nap room, and this is a really great place for people to just sort of hang out. Well, you know, what we try to create in terms of the ambience of the lounge is nice, comfortable seating. We have these uh, pods that uh, folks can set up their computers at, do some work when they're, uh, when they're in the lounge, be productive. And then, you know, comfortable sofa chairs oh, yeah. um, that people can just sit and relax in, read a book you know, do some work on their computer. It's very stylish too. I mean, even the lights and everything, it's awesome. Absolutely. And each seating area it has its own uh, power source. So if you want to charge up your phone, charge up your laptop, you've got power right there. Now, how do people come to experience this lounge? What does it cost and how can people come? Well, sure. So our whole concept is that we're a pay-in lounge. Anyone can pay to use this lounge. It doesn't matter who you're flying with, what fare class you're, you have. You simply come in, you pay a fee and you have access to all of the amenities, services that we offer here. Okay, and the cost is? The cost is, starts at $40. Okay. Great value, great value for an all-inclusive lounge environment, comfortable seating. We're like an, oas an oasis in the airport. <laughs> and you're like a gourmet restaurant, so even the food is included as well. And I have to say, I, I've had, I had been at the old uh, Plaza Premium yep. Lounge. Yep. This is exceptional value. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we're seeing at top hotels. Absolutely, and, and again, it's all about creating that five-star experience in the lounge so guests can enjoy what they're what they're experiencing when they come here. Oh, so good. Well, for more details, of course, not only on uh, the Plaza Premium Lounge, but mm -hmm. all the other services and retailers that you mm -hmm. can experience here at YVR, you can, uh, well, make your way here, or Absolutely. you can check out their website. And you said this is all-inclusive. I didn't... All-inclusive. What, 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 th what do you think? Do we, can I pour a plate somewhere? Absolutely. I, yeah, yeah I right down here. I'm going to grab a plate here. Yep. What do you think? Do you want to join me for some I breakfast? Think I okay. We're going to take yep. a little break here on Breakfast Television. Nelson, you, you want something? You want maybe some sausage? <laughs> Sausage for you? What Sausage, do you think? bacon. <laughs> you know, I love the bacon, actually. It's oh, my favorite. Oh, very good. Well, we are going to take a little break here on Breakfast Television. What will the weather hold for anyone that is traveling, maybe perhaps making their way here to YVR? Russell Kate has all those details coming up next. We'll be right back.